In this video, I'll be showing you how to build an easy reusable checklist in Notion. So you may be currently using the to-do list block in Notion to create checklists like this for certain workflows that you commonly go through. So you'll simply go through your workflow, check off each item as you go, but what do you do at the end? You either have to delete the thing and retype it from scratch, or you can individually go through and uncheck all of the check boxes. But to be honest, it's a complete waste of time. That's why to make things a little bit easier, I've come up with this checklist system that actually uses databases and buttons to allow you to reset the entire checklist with a single click of a button. So you'll simply check off all of the items in the list as you go. And when you want to regenerate the list, you simply just click reset and it will re-add everything back into the checklist as it was. Now this is actually really quick and easy to set up. So in the rest of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up a reusable checklist like this in Notion. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a new database. So I'm just gonna type in forward slash database and select database in line and I'm going to call this one checklist but you can call this whatever your checklist is specifically for and we're also going to hide the title so I'm just going to click the three dots hide the database title and we do also want to delete this default tags property because we don't need it so I'm just going to hit delete property and delete now I'm going to start by adding a default icon for everything that we list in our checklist so this is completely optional it's mainly just for aesthetics so if you're not bothered about that then you can just skip this step but if you do want to add the default icon we're going to click on this little downward arrow here and add a new template. Now all we're going to do on this template is add the icon. So if I click here, we're going to select icons and we're going to go with this check mark icon here. So it looks like this. You can then just click back. And then back on the database, we're going to once again click on the downward arrow and next to the icon that we've just added, you can click on the three dots and just set it as default and you'll want to select for all views in the checklist. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to delete the three rows that are already there to start from scratch. Now, in this example, we're going to do a YouTube video checklist. So we're going to list out all of the things that I have to do to create a new YouTube video. So we're going to click on the plus new button and let's say we want to start by choosing the topic. And when I hit enter, as you can see, that icon is automatically added for us by default. So at this point, you just want to list all of the steps that you want to add to the checklist in the right order in this database. So I'm just going to keep clicking the plus new button and add in my next item. Next, I want to add a checkbox so that we can actually check off the task once it's complete. So to do that, you can click on the plus symbol here, just type in checkbox, and we're going to go with this checkbox property here. And I'm just going to change the name of this one to complete. So at this point, I just want to change it from a table into a list view because I think a list view looks a little bit nicer. So to do that, you can click on the three dots here, select layout, and we're going to change it to this list view here. So this is what the list looks like. Now I am noticing it's not displaying the checkbox property. So to make sure that that shows, you can click on the three dots, select properties, and here is the complete checkbox that has been hidden. So you can click on this little symbol here to show it on the list. So this is now what it looks like. Now, once I check off an item from the list, I do want it to disappear so that I can just focus on the outside standing tasks. So we can add a filter to cause these to disappear. So you want to click on the filter option here and we want to filter based on the complete checkbox. And um, we only want to see items in this list where the complete is unchecked. So as you can see, those items that I have checked have now disappeared from the list. So at this point, I am just gonna add a heading up here. So just above the database, I'm gonna type in forward slash H1 to grab this heading block. And we're gonna call this one YouTube video checklist. And just underneath, I'm also going to add a divider. So if you just type in three dashes in a row like that, it's going to add in a divider for you. Now, the last thing we need to do is create our button that is automatically going to re-add everything back into our checklist. So we're going to type in forward slash button and select this button block here. Now, the name of the button is going to simply be reset and you can also add an icon as well. So the one I'm going to go with is this clockwise arrow here. So this is what the button will look like. Next, we need to tell it what we want it to do once the button is clicked. So you can click add an action and in this case we actually want to edit the pages in the below database so we're going to select edit pages in it's going to ask you to select the database so you just want to select the name of the database down here so this one I just called checklist so I'm going to go with that one then we just need to tell it what we actually want it to edit within our checklist database so if you click edit a property we want it to edit our complete checkbox here and we actually just want to change it to an unchecked checkbox so all this is doing is just going to uncheck all of the checkboxes in our checklist so that's all we need to do. So we're just going to click done and let me just check off all of these items in the list. And then if we click reset, it's going to automatically re-add them back into the list. And you can do this over and over again. You don't even need to check all of them off. If you check half of them off and click reset, it will reset it back to how it was. So you can set up as many of these checklists as you like for various different workflows that you might have. And that's it. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates over on my store, including this super advanced second brain template, which is an all-in-one productivity system. And if you found this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I upload new Notion tutorials every week week.